Okay, in this video I'm going to look at another example of using the Chinese Postman algorithm. And I've drawn a graph here which will look fairly straightforward. And I've done that for a reason, because I don't want to focus too much on the actual mechanics of the algorithm and getting caught up in which where's the shortest distance from this point to this point. What I want to get on to is looking at some of the more uh, fiddly little questions that are going to ask at the end, maybe the part B and the part C. So I look at the graph and I think, well, OK, well, we've got four odd vertices here. And I've got one at A because that's got order three. E has order five. B has order three. And C has order three. So we make sure the examiner knows that we know what we're talking about by writing that the odd vertices are A, B, C, and E. Okay, So that's the first thing that you do whenever you hit a Chinese postman algorithm problem. Then we're going to pair up the odd vertices in the three different ways that we can. We've got A, B, and C, E. We're going to have A, C, and B, E and we're going to have A, E, and B, C. Okay? So, we're looking for the shortest distance between A and B, which in this case is going to be 15. From C to E, we've got 4. From A to C, we've got 10. And from B to E, well, that's 21, that's 21, and that's 16. Uh, we've got A to E will be 6, and B to C will be 12. Okay, so we add these up. We go, right, 15 and 4 is 19, 10 and 6 is 26, and 6 and 12 is 18. Now let's say that we're given the total already. Okay, I haven't added those up. Um, uh, 15 and 12 is 27, 37, uh, 43, 64, 68, 98, 101, 109. So the total is 109. So the actual shortest distance is the 109 plus the shortest of these three parents, which is the 18. So add those together and we get uh, 127. Okay, so the shortest possible route for the Chinese postman in this case is 127. So that is a situation where um, we have the postman might be starting and finishing at any of the vertices. And we know we can do that because if you remember back, this creates an Eulerian graph, which means that we can start and end at any vertex and travel along each of the edges and get back to where I started. Okay, so I've repeated, put in A, E and B, C in order to do that. So A, E is repeating this edge, okay? So I'm backtracking along that edge and B, C is 12, so I'm backtracking along that edge as well. Now, that has made the graph Eulerian. So all the vertices have even order. Let's say, however, that um, the postman wants to start at A and finish up at E. What is now the shortest distance that he must travel? Well, if you remember back to when we looked at Eulerian graphs, there's an earlier video for this, so make sure you check it out if you can't remember. In order to start at one vertex and end at another vertex, 
you must have a semi-Eulerian graph, which means that these two vertices are the only odd vertices in the graph. So these two must remain odd vertices. So in order for that to happen, B and C must be even, while A and E remain odd. So if I scrub out this repeated edge, we now have A and E remaining odd, but B and C now becoming even. So this makes it a semi eulerian graph. So if you want to start at A and end up at E, then the shortest distance is 109 plus, not 18, just the 12. Okay? So, in other words, 121. So that would solve that problem. Now let's say, let's scrub that bit out. Okay, that's 12. Now let's say um, I'm allowed to start and finish at any vertex. Okay, in order to solve, uh, in order to do this route. Any vertex I can start at, any vertex I can end at. What is the shortest distance uh, that I would travel? Well, okay, well that means I want to backtrack along the shortest possible route. Okay, so the shortest possible route that would make this semi-Eulerian, which would allow me to start at one vertex and end at another, would be to add in this one. Out of all of the pairings, it is this one that I want to add in the CE. That is the shortest. So if I add in CE of 4, this has made the graph semi eulerian which means I can now start and finish at A or B. So A and then finish at B would be traversing the whole graph, 109, and then adding in the shortest actual edge that I could add in, which is 113. Okay, so there are multiple little problems that you need to be aware of and how this works, and it usually involves uh, making the graph semi-Eulerian. Okay, so it just requires a little bit of uh, thinking in order for you to just go, well, actually, which ones do I need? Which edges do I need to add in? Okay?